Hi, welcome to Volleyball 101. Um, today we're going to be talking about volleyball injuries and using a biomechanical tape, specifically dynamic tape, uh, to avoid certain injuries. And today the big one is uh, late cocking when spiking. It's a very common injury that we're seeing a lot now because a lot of people are being taught some of these wrong techniques, especially this inverted W when they're pulling back and swinging. So they're coming in like this, as well as people that are having timing issues with getting their arm back and as they start coming forward they're still getting it back is that correct yeah right so i think there's, there's sort of it's you know one leads to the other if you've got if you've got the position wrong then your, your timing is out and if your timing is out then your position is wrong in a sense if you get that inverted w you know once you start coming forward you've still got to get your into that late cocking so often we find is as the truck's coming forward you're still going back with the arm and that obviously puts a lot of extra load on there. We want to be sort of back there so that as, as the trunk comes forward, the arm is sort of coming, coming with it. So if you can get your arm ready to go, that's right. going to help stop a lot of this. And what we're going to be doing is showing a way to tape. Right, so we're going to show a way to tape that's it's going to do two things. One is it's going to decelerate us in that late cocking and try and just absorb some of that load back there and, and just reduce the amount of, of impact that we're going to get in the back of the shoulder in that point. But also what it's going to do is initiate us a little bit sooner with the arm. So as the trunk starts to come forward, the arm is going to come more or less with it. There is a bit of a lag there and we want that because that gives us that the whip. whip. Yeah. But we don't want it to be too big, you know, because then we're going to get excessive load going through there. Okay, so um, now this tape is not kinesio tape. This is biomechanical tape. So it's a very different tape. So first thing you're doing is can you explain what you're about to do? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make what we call a power band where we're going to laminate two layers together first. It just gives us a, a stronger recoil, a stronger, a stiffer spring. Depending on the size of the athlete, the forces are going through it, sometimes you only want one layer, sometimes you might want a little bit more. So, so this time we're just going to do a double layer, it just gives us that, that extra force that we might require. So all we do is just very simply lay, lay one on the, the back of the other. You've got to make sure there's no stretch between these, uh, otherwise they'll want to sort of shear off themselves. So we just lay that down, no stretch, and just smooth that out. Just like so. And then give it a really good rub, that just activates that glue and, and sets it off really well. You can even, if you like, just do a really light spray with the adhesive spray on the back of the first layer before you stick the second one on. Now, this tape is different than kinesio tape because it's extremely elastic. So it makes it a lot more springy. Right, so you can do a lot of different things. It goes with it. well over 200%. So it stretches a long way, it's got strong recoil, and it stretches in all directions so we don't lock our movement up. And that's what allows us to put it on in that short position and give us that real bungee cord effect that we're after. Okay. Now I'm just going to round off the corners, that just stops it lifting and, and peeling. And then we're going to come in and just give you a, a quick spray with the adhesive spray. Now this, this spray is pretty incredible because this tape can be used even if you're in the water. So like swimmers, woo! <laughs> Bit cool this one. All right, so what we need to do with you now is get you on in this short position and we're going to sweep around the arm and that allows us to, to get a good purchase on the lever basically. If I just go from here to here, I get a lot of sliding of the skin. Okay. If I go all the way around, it grips on and I'm going to get a good good purchase on that lever and therefore get that real mechanical effect. So I start on a bit of an angle up the, up the arm. And you've got to hold this skin down so I don't shear and give you a blister there. And just take up the slack. You don't need a lot of stretch because the position's going to do that for me. Peel this back a bit. And then we're going to come right around the front and turn, bring your arm in for me. That's it. And just up a little bit with your elbow. And then we're going to run this right down and across the chest here. Nice anchor point on this end with no tension once again. Another good couple of inches there without any tension on that. Hold that down really, really well. Normally we'd hold that for a good 30 seconds to a minute. But now as your arm comes out, you'll feel that start to resist you. Wow. And then give you that assistance back the other way. Importantly though, you can still get there, but it's decelerating you. Wow, yeah, yeah and it's like, I'm like so noticeable and conscious of it. Yeah, exactly. Which is what helps you to groove that new motor pattern, you know, that new technique as well. It's going to bring your awareness up as well. Now, uh, I've seen some pictures of this being used with the Brazilian players on the indoor side. 
Right, yep, exactly. They, they've, I've seen uh, photos of those guys using it. The other ones we see a lot in the Brazilians is the, uh, the Brazilian beach handball who are also world champs. They, they do all those throwing type things. Now, Ryan, I've seen some pictures of this plus some of our other taping techniques used with the indoor Brazilian national team for volleyball, which is, you know, that's the highest level. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, look, those guys are getting into it. Uh, they understand the concept and they're using it, using it a lot uh, with their players. And we're seeing it in all sorts. Any of those hitting, throwing type sports, you know, uh, we're seeing it with the tennis. We're seeing it with, uh, you know, even the Brazilian beach handball guys who I think are also world champs. And again, for those elbows, shoulder type problems, this is ideal. So the big thing is it's essentially stopping this this getting over rotated and too much. Yeah, it decelerates you getting back there and it, it sort of discourages you getting that elbow too far behind you. It takes load off when you're there and it transitions you back earlier. So as you start to bring your trunk, you're getting this pull on here to encourage the arm to come through so you don't overcook it at the back. Feel that, that's uh, so great. Okay, really cool stuff. Make sure you check out the videos. Uh, we shot some other interesting videos with Dynamic Take at Volleyball one-on-one. -on -one. Also some other great ways of taping. And we're gonna be doing some really phenomenal videos on using Dynamic Tape to improve and correct form. Uh, also, if you are interested, we're giving a free sample away of the tape at volleyballoneonone.com as well as the sticky adhesive.